you have successfully carried out a repair of the electric hydraulic control unit. Watch the program New Repair Method for Exchanging the Control Unit of the Fully Integrated Transmission Control in the Automatic Transmission, now available on the Acubus platform. We now continue with some helpful tips and tricks. If there's a communication problem with the transfer of the valve characteristics of the old transmission control unit to the new control unit, or an SCN coding isn't possible, then stop the operation and scroll back with F1 to the drivetrain menu. Select Transmission. Rather than start the engine electronics, click on F4 for No. In the Transmission Control Unit main menu, click on the Control Unit version. If there's no following basic software number under the MB item number for software, the EHS part number is empty, and variant is set to boot, the data transmission must be restarted. Only dispose of the control unit after the successful completion of the repair. To read the data from the old control unit, plug it in the car again. To do this, unplug the control unit and plug in the old control unit. Back to Star Diagnosis, start back in the Drive menu. As the data transfer is part of the transfer for certain fault codes, it must be started with the corresponding fault codes. In Transmission, click the complete list of fault codes and events. You'll find your fault code in the protocol of the incoming short tests. Go through the test. After reading out the data, disconnect the old and plug in the new control unit again. If the communication has problems again, then cancel the startup. Go to the vehicle and reduce the bus load. If present, Disconnect the Xenon headlights at the connector. Also undo the plug for the SBC or the ABR ESP control unit. Once again, read the data from the old control unit to get into the corresponding fault codes. However, if this trick doesn't work, then contact Star Diagnosis user helpline. Note, a special procedure is required if the repair cannot be completed due to a lack of spare parts. Delete the stored valve characteristics, otherwise no communication with the transmission control unit is possible. In Star Utilities, open the SD Explorer. You'll find the valve characteristics in Sentry Write File under Temp File. The file is marked with the appropriate chassis number. Simply click and delete. If you update Star Diagnosis with the DVD during the repair, the valve characteristics will also be deleted. Read them again after the update with the adaptation data from the old control unit. To complete the repair, perform the normal test drive. An adaptation test drive isn't necessary. If the shift quality is poor, then air could be in the hydraulic system. By repeatedly changing gears, this will be resolved. Or if the valve characteristics of the old control unit were incorrectly transferred, repeat the process one more time. And finally, have you installed the repair kit without doing the test? Then work through the test with the appropriate fault code. 
always be sure to go through all the points. Only this way can you make sure that all valve characteristics and adaptation data were transferred correctly.